Okay, I had a question about how you would find out why the backup beat doesn't work in a heat pump. Well, I've got this terminal board here, and I thought we'd just kind of go over it real quick. Common is obviously common 24 volt. There's your power in R. G's fan. And this one has a W1, a W2, and a W3. Or W2's down here. Now, most of these things are not going to use the W2 and W3. And W1 is usually going to be... Now, this isn't necessarily every thermostat out there. Because thermostats are known for having every different kind of conglomeration you can think of. But uh, an electric furnace like this, generally W1... Uh, will be the only one used. Y will be first stage heat because that's turned on the contactor and then W1 will be backup heat. So if I wanted to find out if I had 24 volt power to backup heat I would go from C to W1. Okay and E E's for emergency heat. Usually what happens there is if E gets power, it locks out the outdoor unit. In other words, it drops Y out. It doesn't go to Y. It goes to W1. And puts W1 in first stage. Remember, when you had Y in W1, this was first stage, this was second stage. If I put the thermostat in emergency heat, then I will have power to E which will uh, be jumped to W1 and power will come through E to W1 but it won't go to Y. Now that's how most of them are set up. So if I came down electric furnace was not heating when it should have been, anything below about two degrees below the set point, backup heat should come on unless there's an outdoor thermostat to shut it off. I would go from C to W1. If I get power there, then the problem is in the furnace. If I don't get power there, the problem is in the thermostat. I hope that makes sense. I haven't gone over heat pumps yet, uh, and there's a ton of stuff to go over on heat pumps and how they work and how the different ones are set up. But that's just a kind of a little quickie on uh, where you'd put your meter probes to find out if you actually had 24 volt power to the uh, uh, to the backup heat. Hope this helps.